FIA. Woo-hoo! I hear music. Ah, uh, cool. Hell yeah. And then I wonder if I can make you bigger. That's yeah. what she said. <gasps> That's what she said. So the track's been out, what, two weeks? And today the, um, well, tomorrow for you, but the VIP mix is dropping. Yeah. No, it is good. I've been, I've been like paying attention on 1001 track list and I see a lot, it's, it's a lot of people supporting it, so that's great. I was introduced to you from Amada Music, Cloud9. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to get in the studio, but I came and checked out your amazing studio complex you have there. No, it is, but it's kind of ske- it's kind of sketchy. Like when you're driving up, you're going into like this weird like commercial industrial pocket. Yeah, a lot of people are like, "Am I in the right place?" And then when obviously when you come inside, I kind of have it. I have it. Well, I didn't know I was going to like a um, massive studio, and then when I was oh, like walking okay. in, I was like, "God damn, there's like gold records everywhere, and like Des- I, think oh, was, I think it was a Destiny Child was like or Jennifer Lopez or something. Oh yeah, 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 yep. And you played me like a bunch of demos. There was the one from Shannon that I was like, yeah, dude, that's, that's sick. Yep. And it was yep. available. So. Yeah, well, remember, it, it was like, it was kind of a completely different, like kind of vi- track vibe. And then I gave you everything and you took it and kind that's of stripped right. it off. Oh, that's page. right. It had, um, yeah, it had an built- accordion. You've got me stumbling under your control. Maybe it's kind of ping pong back and forth and I put a yeah. little extra small things on there, but you did so much of the hefty, heavy lifting on it. It was awesome, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, the writing of it to begin with was so good. So did you write that with Shannon or? Yeah, 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 yeah we did. Probably maybe a few months before we met. She was over here in LA and we literally only had maybe like three hours in the studio. We were both, for some reason, she was booked and I was booked. So we really? just jumped in and yeah, it came together really fast. Like we just vibed and, and yeah. uh, it came together really fast. And I had done the music bed with another a buddy of mine named Eric Santacola, who's an amazing producer on his own right. Um, so he ended up obviously becoming a writer on it as well, since he was involved in, in the original. So. so I've got the project file here. Maybe I can share it. So like you said, we, um, we bounce it between each other online a few mm-hmm. times. So that's uh-huh. why in the project, there's a lot of... Um, Weird names. <laughs> yeah. And a Random. lot of stems. A lot of things are bounce down to stems yep yep so the track looks quite simple it just looks like a few audio tracks but that's because we've been bouncing down to audio of the vocal up top here under your control hey. under your control you make me love to be under your control but the, the thing that i heard when i heard it was like a uk kind of vibe so that's yep. what i really wanted to do with like the drop even though i'm from australia but yeah. It doesn't matter. But yeah, the more I kept tweaking, I came up with like the wobbles, like the wob, the wob, wob, wob. The main bass is actually Nexus. I don't really like using Nexus much because it sounds too like Nexus-y. A lot of the times that's I can the, hear it. That's the, that's the technical term, Nexus-y. Nexus-y. <laughs> Sometimes I can hear like a, a patch in a song, like a sound in a song and I'm like, oh, that's, that's yeah. that you set from Nexus. But yeah, I think yeah. if, you, if you like tweak it yourself and make it, your own then it's kind of okay but i'm playing around with the attack which is giving it like the wobbles um it's fun for me to watch you because i'm, I'm a pro tools guy so it's fun to see somebody working on a different doll it always, it always interests me their work for yeah, you know like watching the matrix or something <laughs> and then what i had to do because of the wobbles because it it stuffs up the groove if you have it straight in line. So I had to record that down to audio and then I've, and then I kind of like warped it into place. Mm-hmm. Otherwise the notes were like hitting too early. So you can see here, I've kind of um, turned that into audio and then I think we kind of nudged it back on the grid a little yeah, bit. Yeah, nudged it to where it needed to go. Little reverse. Yeah. Bass is in there. Yeah, I actually, one of my favorite parts too that, that you added, Dave, was that it, I love that um the triple kick that you have on the downbeat, where it's like bop bop bop. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. It just it just makes it feel unique, you know. Under your control. Yeah, it's super helpful, yeah. Yep, yep. But yeah, now we just need them to reopen the club so it can be banging in clubs. Yeah, but it's still, <laughs> it's still something people can work out to at home. No, absolutely, absolutely.
So do you have, what's, what's happening? You still like working with people in the studio or? I'm, try, I'm trying not to. I mean, if I do, it'll be with maybe like one person, but I'm not really doing, I've done a couple of Zoom sessions. Yeah. Um, and then I've just been really honestly like using the time to catch up on a bunch of things I was backlogged on. So productions I needed to get done. Yeah. You know, yeah, like earlier I was prepping a session and getting it ready to be mixed and, you know, just things that I can do on my own and, you uh-huh. know, try to, try, to, try to get knocked out. But yeah, man. Something that, um, are you a whiskey drinker? I am. I, hold on, look. Yeah, this is why I'm yeah, asking. So, that's, so this is, um, this one's actually Bullet Rye Whiskey. This is Woodford Reserve. Um, this is some nasty, but people, some people like it, um, Fireball. I don't know if you know what that is. Ah, uh, like yeah, cinnamon, of course, yeah. <laughs> cinnamon whiskey. This is Cavassier. And then I think yeah. this is tequila. I think tequila. I was sitting in that chair just there, and I was like, yeah, yeah. I was looking at the whiskey, but I was like too shy to like say, let's. Ah, oh, dude, I would have poured you some. Yeah, I know. I was too like, too shy. I was like too, oh, it was like too early in the day or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's five o'clock somewhere. Um, no, it's, it's funny though. Like since, since all this coronavirus stuff, I just haven't been drinking as much. You know what I mean? It's like, you think I'd be drinking more, but yeah. it's like actually the antithesis. I've just been really like weirdly motivated. I'm working out every day, trying to eat clean, like okay. getting up early, like doing fucking emails and just like, just trying to knock shit out. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. I got it. I've, I've gone the other way. I'm kind of like. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's any in between. It's one or the other. It's like, yeah. you know, like I already put on like 10 pounds and I'm drinking every day and like, yeah. I'm not doing anything. I'm just watching Netflix, but I'm getting some Netflix in there. Don't worry. You saw Tiger King. I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Actually, I gotta go. I gotta go get my Pornhub on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Share the screen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We could have a Zoom Pornhub party. Yes. Now we're talking. Something you know in, in America, the Starbucks how they like have the coffees like <laughs> unnecessarily the unnecessarily large yeah. size. Like what? How many shots of coffee is in that? And like, is it all milk or like, what's the? That's a that's a really good question. Um, I think everybody does it differently because I've heard people literally offer like uh, order like three and four shot things, which yeah can't be good for your heart. Like if you're just pounding yeah. like like pounding like four shots of espresso. You know what I mean? Over the period of whatever, even if they sip it in an hour, like that's a lot of caffeine, I would think. But we're excessive here. Like I said, like you said, everything is like, oh, the extra large, super big gulp. Yeah. And then like the fucking hamburger that's like this big and fries and yeah, you know, no. we're just excessive with it. But oh, hold on one sec. That's, that's either my wife or my daughter. They've called like three times. Let me just make sure they're good. Probably my daughter, actually. Hello. What, sweetheart? When are you going to come back home? <laughs> uh, probably in about an hour. In one hour? Well, I'll be done in an hour, and then it'll probably take me about half hour to get home. Wait, what's just, what's an hour? Um, it's like 60 minutes. Like one hour? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, love you, baby. Love you, daddy. Okay. Bye, baby. Bye. Bye, man. All right, man. Thanks, dude. That was fun. Good chat. Yes, for sure. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bro. See you, man.